Hello and welcome back to Anvil Plays. Hopefully the sound is better than this one because I could hear last time the sound was not very good. Um, so... Let's see. Let's try this again. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Haven't I shamed you enough? <coughs> Not yet, no. You haven't even begun to see me, Shane. Back to the field of honor, then. Choose your weapon. Maybe I can, like... Magic wand has no effect on the magic wand has no magic wand has no effect on that. Maybe I can like that doesn't take wooden nickels. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. Jawbreaker? That doesn't need a jawbreaker. That doesn't need a jaw. That doesn't need a jawbreaker. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use a balloon. I can't use a balloon with. I can't use a balloon with that. That doesn't take wooden nickels. That doesn't take wooden nickels. That doesn't take wooden nickels. Shit! I'm supposed to do something. I'm sure of it. I don't want to pin that. I don't want to pin that. I don't want to pin that. That doesn't need holding. That doesn't need holding down. That doesn't need holding down. The glove won't work with that. The glove won't work with that. The glove won't work with that. This is only for reading. This is only for reading. This is only for reading. Well, let's try this one. I choose this pistol. I win again. Okay, maybe I like go sabotage them some s somewhere else. I'm pretty sure I probably have to sabotage these. They're just chalked on the grass. I'm not contesting the caber toss right now. I'm not contesting the. Maybe I can cut them. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. Maybe I'll cut the trees. And the trees too rubbery to cut with scissors. And the trees too rubbery to cut with scissors. Well, I like rum as much as the next pirate, but that's a little much. Hmm. If I cut the keg, all the rum will spill out. Yeah, won't you do that? Why, why won't you do that? That doesn't need holding down. Uh, there's gotta be some way to, to fucking sabotage this. They're just chalked on the grass. They're just chalked on the grass. Yeah, maybe I can like... That doesn't need holding down. The magic wand has no effect on that. The magic wand has no- magic wand has no effect on that. Okay. So that's not it. Let's see. That would stain my fingers red. Yeah, so... The glove won't work with that. Oh, I need it for the dueling. A lot of the times in games I list, like, items are only used for one thing, but I only always want them to, to, like... 
Maybe I can, like. I've got nothing to say. I've got nothing to say. Oh, well. What is this? Mysterious flowers. Take a look at them. What a strange flower. Wow. This jungle is thick. I'll need something sharp if I'm going to hack my way through there. Oh, well, I have scissors. I wonder if this plaque says something about the flower I just cut. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Purgative? That's that means it's sticky, right? So maybe I can put put it in the. Maybe I can fucking put it in the. What's in here? Do you have a reservation? Uh, sure, I have a reservation. Of course, I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. <coughs> no reservation slip, huh? Then out you go. I guess that happened. Okay. But does does that mean it's sticky? Does that mean I can put it in the uh in the gun? Maybe I can put it in the gun. It's an ipecac flower. Nah. Well, I can't use the flower on its own. Oh well. I don't know how to mix. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. Okay. Here we go, dude. Haven't I shamed you enough? You haven't even begun to see me. Shame. I don't actually know what the word purgative means. Honor, so, uh. choose your weapon. I don't know how to mix the flower. I don't know how to mix. I don't know how to mix the flower oh, with that. Oh. I choose this pistol. I win again. So it has nothing to do with what pistol. Okay, nothing to do with what pistol you pick. You gotta be able to do something to the pistols. Hmm. You got pirate literature, pin, scissors. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. Okay. Get some mud. I won't be able to find anything in this mud by fishing around with my hand. I don't know how to mix the flour. That doesn't need gum. Maybe I can buy some fucking croc from the fucking kid now. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy! My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. Is the lemonade good? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure. 
We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. I have a poor sense of what, yeah. <laughs> hey, there's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy, and there are no refunds. Why, you little. Thank you. Come again. Fucking kid. Hey, everybody. I'm a snot nosed, devious little con man. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck you. Dick kid. Give me my money I back. I want my money back. Why? Was the lemonade bad? I don't know. I didn't drink any. Well, if you're not dissatisfied with the product, I can't justify giving you a refund. I'm sorry, but it's company policy. But... Thank you, have a nice day, goodbye. What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding, the reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, kidney failure, Fainting, halitosis, and death. Holy shit. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No, but it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. Yeah, yeah good. Bye, you little brigand. Bye, mister. Can I go through this now? I can't carry it all. I need to cut through it. We'll keep cutting. Use the same item twice on the same thing. Really? <laughs> Don't tell me it got lost. Oh, nope. There he is. Oh, it's love. Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake? Ooh. Well, this isn't good. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Yeah, I'd love to punch him one, but I don't want to make him angry. I don't know how to mix the flower with that. Oh, there's a Fabache egg there. Lots of stuff. Okay, well that empties out his bowels. Coffee, eggs, sausage, neutral <laughs> naturalist remains. Stuff stuffed dinghy dog. Vacuum cleaner attachments. Old phone books. Bache egg. That won't help me get out of this snake. That doesn't need gum. That doesn't need a jawbreaker. I can't reach it. How do we get out of here? I got eaten! I don't want to throw my voice there. I don't want to pin that. I don't want to pin that. 
I can't reach it. Snake away. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Massive man-eating snake. This fantastic reptile is one of Plunder Island's most dangerous and beautiful predators. That won't help me get out of this snake. Okay. That won't help me get out. That won't help me get out of this snake. That won't help snake. me get out of this snake. That won't help me get. That won't help me get out of this snake. That won't help me get out of this snake. Top secret plans, eh? I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. It's volume C and it's mostly digested. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. What a completely random piece of trivia. That won't help me get out of this. That won't help me get out. 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 That won't help. That won't help. That won't. That won't. That won't help me get. That won't help. That won't help me get out of this snake. It's the remains of a member of the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Those guys sure are dedicated. That won't help me get. That won't help. That won't help me. That won't help. That won't. That won't help me get out of this snake. I'm nervous enough just being inside this snake. They're mostly digested, and I really don't enjoy handling them. Uh, no thanks. This is one pirate who's concerned about saturated fats. They're mostly digested, and I really don't enjoy handling them. Syrup? By itself? Ew. The pancakes have already been- That's one of the few things that won't taste better with syrup. He's cuddly, but I really want out of this snake. No vacuum. No phone. I don't have any use for it. It's all bony and creepy and stuff. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use. I can't. I, I can't use the skeleton. The magic wand has no effect on that. The magic wand has no effect. The magic wand has no effect on that. I can't reach it. Maybe we can talk to the snake. I doubt he's in any mood to listen. Yeah, I'd love to punch him one, but I... It's the fearsome head of that piratey... That doesn't take wooden nickels. I don't want to pop the fun balloons. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't reach it. The hell do I do? I'm stuck inside a fucking snake. I want to hang on. I want to hang on. I want to hang on. I want to hang on to this. I want to hang on to this. I want to hang on to. I want to hang on to this flyer. There might be a discount. That won't help me get out of this. That won't help me get out of this snake. That won't help me get out. Steaming hot coffee won't help on that. That won't help me get out of this. That won't help me. That won't help me get out of this snake. That won't help me get. That won't help me get out of this snake. That's one of the few things that won't taste better with syrup. It makes syrup of ipecac. That seems logical. I can't use syrup. I can't. 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 I can't use syrup of ipecac with that. Hell yeah, I got puked out. Oh, jeez. Whew. That sure was a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No? Hey! Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Now there's an odd sensation. Papa Pichu Bush. Discovered by Thunder Island's indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning youch. Ah, Papa Pichu. Well, I got the thorn. I hope that was worth it. Ah. Uh. Neat. I can't reach it.
Using the reed with the vine won't do any good, even if I could reach it. Using the reed with the vine won't do any good, even if I could reach it. Maybe I can, like... The pin is too small. I might swallow it. Neat. A world-class pea shooter. I don't think she'd like that. Shooting the vine won't do any good. Even if I could hit the branch with that, it wouldn't do any good. I don't want to shoot that. Salvation Vine, Arborealis Deus Ex Machinas. This species of vine is noteworthy for both its strength and its ability to grow anywhere except where it's most needed. I can't reach it. Neat. I don't want to cut that. That doesn't need a jawbreaker. The encyclopedia, the encyclopedia, the encyclopedia, the encyclopedia, the encyclopedia, the encyclopedia, the encyclopedia won't help with that. That doesn't need gum. I don't want to shoot that. I don't want to shoot. I can't. I don't want to shoot. I can't move anywhere in this quicksand. I don't think she'd like that. Shooting the vine won't do any good. Even if I could hit the branch with that, it wouldn't do any good. Even if I could hit the branch with that, it wouldn't do any good. Then what the hell do I do? Quicksand, 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 quicksand. There's a feral chicken, there's a life saving vine, there's a branch. I don't think she'd like that. I can't move anywhere in this. I can't use a balloon. I can't use a balloon. I can't move. I can't use a balloon. I don't, I don't think she'd like that. We have balloons. I can't use a balloon with that. I don't want to pin that. I can't. I don't want to pin that. I don't think she'd like that. I don't want to pin that. That doesn't need holding. That doesn't need holding. Uh, my aim is always off when I'm under stress. I might miss. If only I had some way of dropping the weight on the branch from directly above. My aim is always off when I'm under stress. I might miss. If only I had some way of dropping. Don't tell me. I, I can't move anywhere in this quicksand. Okay. If I pop it now, I'll never get out of this pit. So I need to go over there. Blow on it? I better not put it away just yet. I think I'm onto something here. I better not. I want to hang on to this fly. Push it. Uh, I don't need reservations for that. If I pop it now, I'll never get out of this pit. I can't reach it. Can't you push it? I better not put it away just yet. I think I'm onto something here. The glove won't work with that. That doesn't need gum. That doesn't need... I can't move anywhere in this quicksand. I better not put it away just yet. I th it's just floating there. <sighs> oh. Talk to it. Perfect. Talk to it? For once really? Today, things are going... It's like... Well, darn. Hey... Thank goodness for those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. Okay, here we go. We're saved! I will never have to go for all that again. aboard this ship. Oh, 
All right. Fuck you, world. Fifteen men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Bossy, and the first mate. And my captain? He's the scourge of the seven seas. They all call and themselves. I let you. Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Lucha. Let's try. Captain Lich. Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Oh, I walked that plank thing on the way up. Good enough? No. Sorry. Well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Shall we make him walk the plank? What the fuck? Any last words, Threepwood? I'll be back to kill you all. All right, in you go. That's odd. There was no splash. Splash! Uh. <laughs> well. What do we do about this then? Guess we'll leave. Looks like a light is on in the captain's cabin. That kind of window usually locks from the inside. Can we leave? I'll never be able to pick that up. That doesn't need gum. Oh, we can go back to the... Well, that's good. That's probably LeChuck there. Let's go back to Puerto Puerto Poyo. Now that we have a restoration slip, <coughs> we can Do you have a reservation? Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Up. Uh Pardon me, Mrs. Brian Stoop. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Now that's just rude. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah, it's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye. I fix his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye. Isn't that and Grim Fandango? Oh. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. We'll get them. He's this whole sort of scene has litigation written all over it. Oh, can I take a tasty buttery biscuit? Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! 
Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! <laughs> gold and nuggets of chicken! Oh. A treasure trove of deep fried fun! What's wrong with gold nuggets? Now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring you for lunch? Cheese toast. Got any? I'm afraid we're out of that fine and economical dish. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. Would you like to join my crew and sail to Blood Island? What? Leave me shop unguarded? Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I was just asking. Sorry. I'm as edgy as a beached whale in Nantucket. What's wrong? There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be. And he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. Is he, he is El Pollo Diablo. A demon the chicken? The devil chicken. The <laughs> devil chicken! The devil chicken. He hates me most of all. And his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens. Return them to the wild to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday he'll return. For me! But mark this, I'll be ready for him. And a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. To whom are you going to deliver a chicken? To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in danger called, and the first mate of that ship fancies me chicken. But I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely I won't even have time to cook it. Why is that? You see, I got me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy, and I'd be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of danger cove like? They're a secretive lot, and I can't say I've seen too much of them. They seem to be what one would expect from a bunch of grog swinging pirates. As filthy and hairy a bunch of swabs as you'd ever hope to meet. But beware of their captain. From what I hear, he's got the disposition of a shark in need of a root canal. If he be catching you near his boat, you'll be tortured for sure. Nice gold tooth you have there. Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi! It glistens like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter fried chicken. He has the good priorities. Chicken, 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 eat. Eat the chicken. Don't you ever like get outside the shop? Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? Hi! I love the outdoors, especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Beach Club in Smorgie. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost me membership card. Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing it some It fell broth. into the chicken. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. No matter. I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. How long have you been out of chickens? Weeks, months maybe, and it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can dine this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why, even now I got me a craving for me palate-pleasing poultry. Ah, I can taste it now. <laughs> me crispy bounty of breaded beaks. There'd be nothing like the hearty crunch from these pan-fried jewels. 
isn't that a little hard on your teeth? Aye, but the challenge of it all be half the dining enjoyment. Now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. I'll let you get back to work. Aye. But I have a jawbreaker. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth. But it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Like chewing gum. That doesn't need gum. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Come on. Why, you little scam. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks, sir. Aha! I'm a genius! <laughs> okay. <coughs> so, enough of my genius for right now. Thank you for watching this episode of Anger Place. You'll be seeing more of my genius tomorrow. I hope you'll join me then. Until then, bye!